So the focus of integration series one and two is starting in Taijime position one and then working mountain guard, okay? So at this point, we're gonna go ahead and look at transition from uh, Taijime position one to position two. And there's a couple of ways to do this. Uh, the way that I like best, because I don't have to change my grip much, is I lean in, I start to challenge his balance a little bit, and I'm going to get a little loose here for a second to give myself enough space to move. So I load, pop, and replace. I'm taking one ear off of his chest and I'm putting the other ear on his back or on his shoulder. If I keep him tight to him the whole time, I don't give myself enough room to move. So I shift loose to give myself space. And then I'm in uh, position two. From position two, I think the easiest takedown here is to shift their weight to the far leg. And then I'm gonna take my leg, whatever one is in front of him. While his weight is shifted, I'm going to turn. So the mechanics are the same as what we did from position one, but it's much easier to do from here. So we're gonna start in position one, pop, shift, and turn. And obviously it's even easier if I'm using two arms instead of pointing with my finger the whole time. But it's that easy that I can free up an arm for pointing, okay? So let's go from position one to two and work that takedown, Ashi Harai. So the Ashi Harai that we just did was, uh, in my opinion, really easy to learn, has a high probability of success. It's easy once you get behind them, even if you don't exactly get their weight, if you just start to drive and they're stumbling to catch their weight, eventually, if you just go for a couple of them, you're gonna catch it. It's pretty easy to, 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 to get. The down, the, the dangerous piece of this is that anytime you're in position two, if you let yourself get too low, yeah, just like that. If I get a little too low and I'm chasing, there's a chance here. If you end up in this headlock, you need to posture up, break that, and deal with it just like we would a normal side headlock, okay? Or a front headlock, actually. Um, the, the other takedown that I want to talk about today, from position two, for clarity. This is position one. I'm in the front right here. Position two, I'm in the back in the same place. Position three, I'm gonna call this near side position two. Position three is a like far side position two. It's the same thing. We separate the two because sometimes what we're doing is in transition. So this is position two. This would be position three, just the far side of where I entered. I'm in position two. Tani Atosh means the valley drop. I have one leg behind, that is one mountain. I have one leg in front, that is the other mountain, and he is stuck in the valley. So that is where the Tani Atosh comes from. On Tani Atosh, what I want is from the leg behind to be a light block for his far ankle. And then, even if my grip is high, I'm going to drop it to his waist and I'm simply going to turn back in this direction. So it looks like this. I step, I turn, and it's easy to come right over and get into a control position. You guys have all seen that. Am I missing any details? So here's where I'll look. I'll start in position one, two, and right back into top mount. Okay? So that's Tanya Tosh from position two. You can also do Tanya Tosh in transition from position two to position three. Okay, can you use you again for this one? So again, I'm gonna start in position one. Boom, position two. Now, instead of me blocking that one, I'm gonna be stepping with this one. So I'm gonna take what's now my front leg and that becomes the block. The sit comes all the way over and then I get to use a lot more of my weight. 
and uh, it's actually my weight in motion, so it's uh, um, much faster. So I'm doing it without explanation. And it's a far side or a position three trying to toes. Then the next piece of this would be to take that takedown, either Ashirai, near side Tanya Toch, far side Tanya Toch. One of those position two takedowns, any one of them. And as soon as you get to the ground, then that person on the, on the bottom, their goal is to try to get you into guard, okay? Which means they're gonna be blocking, shielding, trying to get uh, shins el and elbows up. This is a good block position to prevent somebody from getting into. Um, so if Thor is just doing any guard pass, doesn't matter. And if I can get this, it makes it a lot harder for him to get into guard. So I'm just bringing my knee and elbow together. Okay, can we do it on the other side? Okay. Dun, 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 dun. And kick him in the face, that's, that's bonus. But this becomes a, a starting point for me to start working this kind of stuff to try to get back into guard. It also, because I'm using this block, which is very common, means all of that other extra stuff that we were just playing with, as far as back steps and sprawls and switching to other guard passes and stuff like that, all of that gets opened up when they start using that leg for defense, but it's very common, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start in Taijime position two. We're gonna work either the high, uh, Rashi, Ashi Harai or the Tanya Tosh, and then the person on the bottom is trying to get you in the guard, and your job is to try to get in the top. Okay? Yes. Okay, so integration series two builds on integration series one, it gives you more choices on the ground, it gives you a few more takedowns, but we're still dealing with the idea of starting standing. Basically, it's a technical takedown. And then we're starting to get into a little more resistant on the, on the ground yet. We're not at full on uh, uh, competition, but we're, we're providing some structure so that the, the skills that we're working on, on today, that you get an opportunity to use those. So we're going to do a takedown at this point from either, either one of your takedowns from position one, which would be your spinal lock takedown or your Uchigari or either one of the takedowns from position two, which would be your Ashi Arai or your Tanya Tosh. Whoever's being taken down, as soon as they're on the ground, as soon as they're meeting the ground, halfway through the sky, if you can do it, your goal is to get the other person in guard. The person who's doing the takedown, their goal is to get into top knot. We're gonna let this go one step forward, and if either per person gets their position, we're gonna go ahead and reverse it. So if one person gets top mount, we're gonna trap roll, we're gonna get over, we're gonna guard pass. If the other person gets guard right from the beginning, then we're gonna work on passing guard and getting top mount, trap and roll, pass guard again. So we're gonna take these two skills and we're gonna to try to put them together. So there was two things I wanna talk about there, and then we'll let, um, who started that one? Thor, you were at the yeah. start? Okay, and we'll let Evan start on the other side. So uh, one thing that, uh, that came up that would have been helpful for you is, can I just get you on your back right here? You were in the top position, Evan was on the bottom. Uh, you were trying to come around and Evan got his shin in place and you were having a little bit of a difficult time clearing this. Remember, you also have this version to deal with that shin as well. So uh, that would have been perfect just for where you were. It just, we hadn't practiced it today, so it wasn't really top of mind. And that was, uh, can I get you a top knot? Is you went for the trap and roll? Yeah. Like two or three times, and Evan just kept replacing his arm. Yep. Yeah. And you tried the other side, the same thing was happening. You never challenged his balance. So he didn't have any weight on his arms. 
And then he was able to just pick them up and move them because you never, you never challenged the balance. If I had been able to challenge the balance, then you could have kept his weight on and you could have got control. But you never moved his hips, you just chased his arms and he was able to just pull them out. Okay?